When it comes to dealing with video compression and formatting, VideoProc Converter has you covered. G'day, my name is Ralph Mayhew and welcome to VideoProc Converter. Today we're looking at seven different ways you can compress a video. Video Proc Converter is super helpful when you need to free up space on your hard drives, upload your video to PowerPoint or social media, or when you need to send it electronically to someone. I've been using it for years and I love it. And if you love this video, please like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. So let's jump straight into method one where you can specify whatever size video result you need. This is the easiest and the most time saving way possible to make your videos smaller while retaining quality. In fact, you can reduce a video anywhere between 90% and 10% of its original size. So open up Video Proc Converter, select Video, drag in your MOV file, find Compress in the toolbox, drag that slider to set the compression ratio that you're after. We're going to compress it at, let's go 50%. You can also just enter the desired size you want just here. Then you can also reduce the resolution or change the video format as you need. MP4 being the smallest option. I'm going to keep mine as an MOV to compare it for you in a moment. So let's click done, hit run, and here you'll see the size difference as I open it up. You'll see that even though the size difference is huge, the quality is still maintained to an incredible degree. On to method two. I'm going to show you how you can now transcode a video into MP4 H.264 or HEVC. Both HEVC and H.264 are known for their high coding efficiency and excellent compression ability. Taking the same video of the whales I shot with my drone the other day, once the video has been imported, we want to select video in the lower submenu. Then select MP4 HEVC double click and then move the slider to high quality. Select done, select use high quality engine and then run to export. Here you go, you'll see the significant size difference and here side by side a test for quality realizing that the MP4 is 7.5 meg compared to the MOV that's 93 megabytes. Now we've still got five methods to go but if this has been helpful so far make sure you like and subscribe, we'd greatly appreciate that. The next four methods have a less significant impact on video size, but they may meet your needs given a particular project you might be working on. Method seven, however, is worth sticking around for, and I strongly encourage you to do that. So let's get into method three. It involves increasing the GOP length. GOP, GOP, stands for Group of Pictures and is an MPEG compression technology. Increasing the GOP setting reduces the temporal redundancy across frames from one frame to the next, resulting in smaller video sizes retaining their original quality. But it works best where the subject isn't moving at fast rates and your frames per second are in the lower range, say 24 to 30. Simply move the bitrate, change it to manual, and then enter a higher number in the GOP field. Your limit is 500, and I'd suggest doubling your current video as an experiment to see what the effect of doing so has on your video, and you can go from there. Method four requires you to change the frame rate. This works well if there's not a great deal of rapid movement in the shot. You can see what your original frame rate is as the source just here, and you can select a lower frame rate, which will decrease the video size. Method five, moving right along, involves changing the bitrate. Bitrate is a direct reference to the quality of the video. The video bitrate is in MB megabytes and refers to how many bits will be transmitted in any given unit of time. You can see the bitrate changes as the quality slider is changed. Manually lowering this number lowers the quality of the video. Method six. Finally, we can reduce the quality of the audio. If you're posting to social media, especially shorts or stories, the majority of people have the volume muted or turned off a long way down. This means that you can remove the audio altogether if you like. You do that by selecting the top submenu edit video and then under audio and video, you can disable all audio tracks. Or you can go back to our previous screen via format and reduce the sample rate or the bit rate, which results in a smaller file size. 
Ah, oh, you've made it this far. Well done. Now we arrive at method seven, where we downscale the resolution to dramatically affect the size of a video. The video quality improves with higher resolution as it provides more pixels, which have more color and luminance information. The higher the resolution, the larger the file size. If you want to send something to a phone, then you can afford to significantly reduce the resolution. Now, while 4K is becoming this industry standard and everyone raves about 4K, most people can't see the difference between that and 1080p, which is a quarter of the size. Here, you can select a smaller resolution. The original video we are using is 4K. So let's export that at a 1080p, which we do through selecting this and then done and run. And now let's jump back and let's export the 4K video to a 720p using the same method, run and done. Now I'll play the 4K video for you. Now let's keep watching only in 1080p. And finally moving to 720p and in doing it like this you can see the difference between the resolutions as we move from high quality to low quality. Did you notice any difference? Let us know down below. So there you go. Seven most frequently used ways to compress a video in Videoproc Converter. I hope it's been helpful. If you're interested in trying this out for yourself, follow the links down below to download the software and explore to your heart's content. If you love what we do here, please give us the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this far. We really appreciate you and see ya.